Hello everybody, uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, YPC Wilco, which is a youth prevention coalition. Uh, they are a division of Drug Free Wilco. Drug Free Wilco was started in Wilson County to combat the use of uh, illicit and illegal drugs uh, and the bad effects that it has on the community and on the victims, uh, uh, which include the user and the family. Uh, YPC was started to get uh, juveniles involved uh, because you are seeing things in the schools um, and it is a excellent way to get involved with Drug Free Wilco. Uh, they do community events, uh, we have meetings. Um, it is great for uh, volunteer time. I know a lot of you need uh, hours for various uh, scholarships and and whatnot, and it is fantastic for that. You get a lot of that. Uh, the lady that is over YPC is really looking for people who are maybe not involved in a lot of other things. They want people that are not involved in something that feel really passionate about this and can spend a lot of time on this, uh, which is understandable. Uh, I want to see uh, more Lebanon students out in this. Uh, there are a lot of Mount Juliet High School kids there. They are very involved in this uh, in this coalition, and I would really like to see some representation from Lebanon. So, uh, the next meeting date is November the fifth. Uh, if you are interested in uh, joining or being a part of this, please get with me. Uh, and I will get you in touch with who you need to get in touch with. There's just a small little uh, application you have to fill out and then basically you just show up to the meetings. Uh, I know the next meeting is coming up quick. I don't know when this will air, so uh, don't feel like if it's after November the 5th that you will not be allowed to uh, participate. Please, anytime during the year, come to me and I'll get you involved. Thank you very much. Uh, based on the survey, it's estimated that close to 11% of the 12th graders are vaping 9-THC. And those, when we're trying to understand the consequences of marijuana loss on marijuana smoking among teenagers, we have been just focusing on the use of marijuana as a plant, not taking into consideration that vaping is now the way by which teenagers are getting cannabinoids into their system in a way that's actually going to have a higher purity and therefore may be associated with more, even more worse adverse effects. The message that we always want to give to teenagers and to parents is that uh, the teenage years are probably some of the most important as it relates to brain development and building up experiences, including learning and preparing in order to be able to transition into adulthood and that we do know that drugs are actually unfortunately disrupting the, the neural architecture of the brain in a way that can jeopardize not just your cognitive abilities, but your emotions and, your, and, and ultimately your likelihood of succeeding, um, including um, the risk of becoming addicted. When you take drugs as an adolescent, your vulnerability for addiction is much greater. But also, drugs participate in ways that uh, can render you more vulnerable to other mental illnesses, and, and thus why the consumption of drugs during, uh, at any time is not per se desirable, but particularly among teenagers is de uh, detrimental and deleterious. Um, and this, this is also coming up at a time when our nation is discussing issues of legalization of marijuana, which is leading to changes in perception that the use of marijuana is not harmful, that may lead some people that otherwise wouldn't consume marijuana to consume it. So we need to recognize that what may be okay for an adult may not be okay at all for an adolescent. And that parents should also be proactive and in, in establish a dialogue with their teenagers and give them opportunities for them to feel fulfilled. Because if they are bored, then they will be at higher risk for seeking out ways to entertain themselves. 
and drugs can be one way of getting through it. Also, many times drugs are used by teenagers because they want to automedicate. There's something going on on them, and they don't know what it is. They just don't feel right. So they may take drugs and temporarily feel better. And I think that parents need to also be aware when there is a change in personality of the, or behavior of their teenager to approach it. And again, try to find out whether there could be something that is leading their, their teenager to act that way, not to ignore it, not to say, oh, it's just part of teenager years, I'm not going to be paying attention. No, establish that dialogue and seek help if you think that, that actually there may be something going on with, with, with your child. There is a purpose behind everything that you do in life. P is for patience. Never give up easily. U is for unique. You're unique in your own way. R is for responsibility. Be responsible about what you're doing and what actions may affect your others. P is for promise. Make a promise to be better to yourself. O stands for opportunity. You have the opportunity to change your future starting now. S stands for success. Sometimes it takes time to succeed and reach your goal, but it is fine. E stands for evaluation. Evaluate yourself if you want to add more to yourself and be a better person.